guys, as always, welcome to Applebee's. Should you go through the hassle and purchase a suppressor? Let's talk about that. In this episode, I want to talk to you about that simple question. Should you go through the hassle and maybe purchase another suppressor or for, I think, most of us, buy your first one? And this is not a sales pitch. In fact, I've got no script in front of me. I've done no preparation. I had a great conversation over the weekend with a whole bunch of y'all. And today I wanted to get it to the larger audience. And I've got to open up the books a little bit and share with you some things about how YouTube works and about influencers and all that jazz. And I think this matters and I think it affects y'all. So buckle up, here we go. Hey, this episode as always is brought to you by a bunch of great people, y'all. Thank you for every thumbs up. I showed y'all this one two weeks ago. I didn't even mention it, literally did not mention the Trash Panda. Y'all sold them out and they're back in stock as of today. SNC ordered a boatload of them. It's funny, never even mentioned and they were gone like in 36 hours. So they're back in stock. Again, thanks to y'all for stopping by. I appreciate y'all. Over the weekend, I went and had my photos made for some suppressors that I got in the mail back in December. And I want to say very clearly right up front, I paid full retail for those. And in this video, I'm not going to mention any brands. I'm not going to mention any people. This is not about sales. It's not about influencing you. It's about asking a question that I think needs to be asked. So back in December, I paid full retail for three suppressors. It was awful. It was, it was bad. And I went and got my photos made at the Walgreens. Yeah, I know there's better ways or other ways to do it, but I did. It was $82. And I came back here and I talked to the Patreon folks. And then I made an Instagram Live because that one kind of got a little life of its own. Then I did Instagram Live. And here I am because I think people need to hear what I'm going to say. At least I think so. I think it's worth having this conversation. It's a hassle. It's a big time hassle. And this video is not about, ah, let's get mad at the ATF. Not at all. The question is, should you go through that hassle? And I want to pause it to you and suggest to you, yeah, I think it's time if you've never owned one. Now, all that aside, I want to deal with something. A lot of folks don't have the cash because it's very expensive. It is. It's a hassle and it's expensive. I don't want you to feel any pressure. Too many influencers, maybe me included, have taught us and showed us that if you don't have all these Gucci clocks and have the suppressors and have everything fully suppressed and be able to take trips out to train with like very expensive people, then you're not cool. I want to say if you are protecting your family, protecting yourself, and all you have is a single Rudy Tootie, a single G19, a single, it's going to give me an eye twitch, but it's okay. Grip Zone XD, that's okay. Practice with it, work with it, buy enough ammo if you can these days to be able to be proficient with it. And that's okay. That's where you're at. A lot of folks are working, it's a struggle. Totally, completely fine. But for folks that may have a little bit of disposable income or able to save up a little bit, I wanna say, yeah, it is worth the hassle. Yes, you're gonna have to wait months. Yes, you're gonna have to fill out paperwork. But my Suggestion to you, if you're only going to have one, is get hearing safe for your home defense, Rudy Tootie. Most of us use a rifle next to the bed. If, if that's it, that's my suggestion. As other guys are going to say, do a 9mm PCC. I'm saying 5.56 five, suppressed if you can. And I think that is an odd thing for me to have to say, but again, too many influencers have said, you've got to do this. And you have guys. And a lot of them are my friends. They get their stuff for free. They get their rifles for free. They get their ammo free. And then they tell their audiences what brand to buy. And it's not criminal. This is, this is a business. Like on some level, on a lot of levels, the larger YouTube channels are running businesses and they are paid, not for their opinions, but they work with brands. And I trust this brand. They work with brands that they trust, but they're also paid to influence you. That's why I'm always really really plain with y'all what is a commercial and what's not. I've never done a review for money. Never have, never will on this channel. So I just want to say this. Yes, go through the paperwork. I want to say get it done. I don't know why. There's three reasons that I think you should. One, they're awesome. Like they are legit awesome. You will spoil yourself at the range. It's so much quieter. It's so much a better experience. Range time is more fun. 
two, political climate. We don't know what's coming with the child sniffer. And we, well, we do know what he said he's going to do, but for the political climate, it's better to go ahead and get that paperwork started with the ATF. Do it legally, do it right. But one, it's cool. It is. It's awesome. It's fun. It's quieter. But two, because of the political climate, go ahead and get that stuff started. And three, hearing protection in the middle of the night. I have, in the last couple years, accidentally lit off a Rudy Tootie when I'm on, off, on, off, on, off with hearing protection. I shoot a lot. And I let one round go off, and it is not a great experience. Been there. I've done it a couple times and it's not good. And so imagine being into a big one in the middle of the night. So for your family, for everybody, those are my three reasons. What do you think? Let me know. Again, it is a massive, complete, and utter disaster of a hassle. There's other ways to do it. I'm not talking brands or specific companies, but there are some companies you can go and do a kiosk and put your fingerprints out right down on the kiosk. I've not done that. I've heard that's a good experience. I'm doing all my paperwork. Here it is right here. This is what's going out. That's a lot. I've got a lot of stuff going on right now, but this is in process right now. Once again, the wait time is excruciating. The whole experience is terrible, but it's worth it. That's where I'm at. I want to encourage you to get, if you're only going to get one, get a 556 and make it happen. Get the process started. And if you're not able to do that, no pressure. Save up or just keep maintaining a safe household with the one Rudy Tootie that you have, and that is okay. What I don't think is okay, and this is me just being a cranky old person, I've been there, is buying El Cheapo after El Cheapo after El Cheapo and having 10 or 12 super cheap Rudy Tooties, and you end up without hearing safe protection, and you don't have one, maybe one good quality, one mid-level, like Honda Accord level, Honda Accord, Honda Civic, something you trust, or above, we all should have one number one rifle that we all trust. I think it should be suppressed. That's where I'm at. Let me know. Again, 15th time. It's a hassle, but I do think it's worth it. A little bit different today. A little bit different for what I have for y'all, but I think I'm doing, uh, I'm doing, I'm not doing enough of a favor to this channel to not try to get you all at least some things that I've been thinking about. It's not a commercial. Patreon's the stupidest dollar you will ever spend, but that's really where this all this conversation came out of Patreon, and it's a dollar, so it's not a sales thing. But I, I wanted, again, to get this to the larger audience. To anyone that's against us or our right to own what we want when we own, want, from the ATF's cold, dead hands. <laughs> We're going to have a good week, y'all. I will be back tomorrow and got all sorts of stuff going on this week. Thanks. Bye.